Okay, this is a two-player game, and each of you needs a different color dry erase marker. Basically, you'll draw a card for each turn or each attack, and you're going to find the solution or answer to that question or problem on the card. The results of the battle are going to determine the soldiers gained and lost based on the answer to the problem. Then you're going to strategize your next attack while your opponent takes their turn. You just take turns back and forth. Okay, to set this up, you place your deck of cards in a stack face down, and you really only have to do all the setup with uh, your map one time because then you can keep playing with different card sets as you learn new skills or review new ideas. And then you go ahead and take turns claiming all the territories until they've all been taken, and then you distribute your soldiers. You each get 30 to spread throughout all the territories you claimed, however so you So on each turn, you're going to make an attack. And to do an attack, you have to have at least two soldiers in the territory that you're starting from. To start your turn, you choose your attack and draw the arrow into a neighboring territory. They have to share a border. And then to do that battle, you pick up a card. Solve the problem or answer the question on the card. And then make sure you check your opponent's work. You're both going to solve it and check and make sure you agree. Then you check where the answer is on the battle results chart to see what's going to actually happen with the battle. If the teacher gave you an answer card, you can flip it over and check if there's any confusion and then hide the answers again. So here, I'm the attacker, I lose one soldier. So now that I know I lost one soldier as the attacker, I go update the map and erase and rewrite the number of soldiers according to that battle result. Now it's going to be the other player's turn. So now the opponent, the other player, chooses and lays out their attack. And once they show it, they'll draw the card and solve the math problem to see what happens with their battle. So again, for this new card, you both solve the problem or answer the question, check the result, and that column will tell you that the defending army this time loses one soldier, which is all they had anyway. So with the last soldier in that territory gone, it's been taken over. The red player now has both the territories. Since neither one can remain unoccupied, the player must decide how to split their four soldiers between the two territories now. When the turn's over, the blue player will have another turn to attack, and the play continues back and forth. Anytime you draw a special card that says move or add one, then in addition to the battle results, you're going to either move as many soldiers as you want from one place to another. Or, if you get the add one, you can only add one soldier to any place that you already have. So if you're playing the game for only one class period, the game's over whenever the playing time ends, or if neither player has enough soldiers to take any turn or attack. If each player ends up with 10 ter territories, then you're going to count the soldiers, and the player with more soldiers is the winner. If you're playing the ongoing version, then follow your teacher's directions to re-fortify at the end of the class period and leave the game board until next time. You can keep playing the same opponent each day until one of you takes over the entire map, and you can add new card sets as you learn new math skills. Have fun! I hope you guys really love it.